Picking up where we left off, we had just created a footprint of the switch. We made a PNG pictorial of that switch so we could have a picture of the footprint right next to the file itself. It's a good idea to create as many pictures of the footprints as you can in your file system because it's going to just make it easier for you to find what you need. Back to your terminal, reissue the command, verbose, and see if there's any error messages. Apparently not. Down at the very end, there's commands telling you what to do next. The first thing you do is open the PCB file with the PCB designer and disperse all the elements because they're on top of each other. So it's select, disperse all elements, and that'll blow them out all over the board. And as you can see, we've got four 14 pin chips, which is obviously not what we want. Save the layout. I'm going to show you how to fix that later. Open up the netlist, the .NET file with the text editor. Check it against your schematic. Net 11 is incorrect. That should be connected to the 5 volt net. So we're going to move U28 and U24 to the 5 volt net. Then you're going to erase net 11 and then renumber the nets. Another thing you have to do is change N4, N2, N3 into N1. So you re use the replace function of the text editor. Search for N4, replace it with N1, replace all. The same with N3 and the same with N2. And what that has done is taken those ends, four separate ends, turned it into one N1 with the proper pin number. So net 15 is now N112, N113, N18. We just renamed the nets because we erased one of them. Now I go into the command file. This renames the pins. And I have to do the same thing. I'm going to combine four N1s into one. So we're going to use the same routine. Replace N4 with N1. Replace all. Do the same with N3. Do the same with N2. Then we're going to have start of element N1. That's going to appear four times. So you can erase it three times. And then the space that's in between the entries, you're going to eliminate that so that start of element N1 is going to describe one 14 pin chip. There it is. Pin 14 is labeled VCC. And what the command does is it changes that pin label from VCC to pin 14. Okay, when in PCB, load the netlist file. So we've, this is our corrected netlist. Again, the netlist is just a list of all the connections in the schematic. A window opens up. It says we've loaded these nets and we didn't see any error messages. By the way, you should keep the log window available somewhere on your desktop because that's where lo uh, error messages are located. So you click on Window, Command Entry, and a window appears down at the bottom. And what you do is copy and paste, go back to your terminal, copy this command, enter it into PCB Command Window, and press Enter that renames the pins. There's the log window. There was no error messages, so that must have gone smoothly. Keep it somewhere on the desktop. Go back to your PCB. Save often. Delete N4, delete N2, delete N3. We're actually missing something on this board. We don't have our three-screw terminal block. The 
input was designated as having a footprint of the three terminal block and I'm going to show you how to fix that but first we're going to check the connections that we do have optimize the the rat's nest that says take all the connections that's in the net list and wire this thing up uh, I can't see the individual pins of that transistor so I dragged it over so I could see that I have in fact connections to all three pins again save often the rat's nest is just a simple description of the connections as defined in the net list now I'm going to erase the rat's nest because we want to fix this issue with our three screw terminal block I'm going to open the PCB file with the text editor. I'm going to scroll down to the end. That's where the netlist is located, the end of this, pretty much the end of this file. And right where it says netlist, I'm going to, from there down, I'm going to delete everything. Also, we're missing an element, and I'm going to show you how to put that element directly into the file go to the footprint folder open up the footprint file copy all the text that's in the footprint file you open it with a text editor now you go back to your PCB file open it with a text editor go to the end of the element entries and paste so now we just pasted in element three term block labeled J2 and there it is. Now we have to fix our net list to reflect the fact there's three more connections to be made. Went for an info window here and clicked on a pin to find out which one is pin one. So I'm opening my net list now with a text editor and I'm gonna add J2, 1, 2, and 3. J21 is our plus 5 volts. J22 is ground. And J23 is our input net. And save the file. Open PCB. You don't have to change the command file because everything is already pin 1, 2, and 3 doesn't have to be renamed. Open up your PCB file with the designer. Load the corrected net list. No error messages. Again, keep the log window open somewhere on your desktop so you can check for errors. Now optimize the rat's nest. In other words, make the connections. And there it is. Now, to move the components around, you use the select tool, which is the blue arrow. Left mouse button on a component, it'll turn to crosshairs, and then you can drag it with uh, rats still attached. You have to be real careful with the selector tool because sometimes it can have unexpected results. Reftes for D1 got pulled away from the diode itself. Save often. Now we're going to do is cut down the size of the board. Preference file, preferences, size. Board size is in mils. 6,000 mils wide is 6 inches. You're going to define this board as 2.4 inches wide, 2,400 mils, 1 inch high, 1,000 mils. And now you're going to, it reduces the drawing area to just the size of the board. And now zooming in real close with the selector tool, the reference designators, you can move them around and get them positioned, use the rotate tool so that you have a clean silk screen layer. You want it to be as legible as possible.